Can't get much more Middle Ages than this. <laughs> Gargoyles, huh? Maybe Giacomo had a better eye for hideouts than I thought. Hmm. Look at that. It's the spitting image of that picture you showed me. It really is. It perfectly matches the sketches in my great-grandfather's diaries. <laughs> I finally found it. <laughs> I'm happy for you. So it really does look like an orbment. But why is it glowing? Get back! Well, that's not good. Are they... resonating? We're gonna have to take care of these guys before we can make with your memento. But I know that's not enough to stop you at this point, right? Time to bust out your crafts, SCLMs, the works. Cause here's where the real show begins! <gasps> The mages of the Middle Ages left behind some damn tough guardians for us. It bugs me why they'd pick now of all times to start moving. Well, whatever. You really stepped up. It takes a brave soul to fight like that against the unexpected. You mean it? Thank, thank you. I'm very fortunate I had you to show me the ropes. <laughs> Let me be the one to pick it up. That's a good idea. Looks safe enough to me. Well, here's what you came here for. Did it just react with her like a combat orbment? I finally hold a Genesis in my hands. There's still more to find, but... I did it, Mom. Grandmother. Huh. Say, Agnes, this great-grandfather of yours wouldn't happen to be... <gasps> there you are. Well, well. Impressive footwork. was waiting on the duo from Almada to make their grand entrance. <laughs> I see our reputation precedes us. You must be Van Arkride, the Spriggan. And my reputation precedes me. Look, I'm not opposed to picking up some work from you types most of the time. Just as long as you don't cross the line, which you just did by firing at us. That's too bad. We were only aiming for your limbs. We have no intention of killing the girl. Not since she seems to be connected to that device. You, however, don't have that same privilege. <laughs> You're real pros, huh? So much it makes me sick. But it also makes my job a lot easier. Hmm? Uh-uh. Don't move. <sighs> A practitioner of the Gekka school, I assume. Even if that weapon marks you as more of a military close combat type. Good eye, but sorry. I'm not with the Gekka school. Anyway, you don't look like you know all that much about the device itself. But you're still gonna tell us everything you do know. And why you're after it. Van... I'm certainly curious, too. What does a criminal organization even want this for? Beats me. 
We're just following orders. And an order's an order. Even if it costs us our lives! <clears throat> what? Shit! You good? I'm fine. I'm more worried about you. Fast-acting enhancement drugs, huh? Didn't think you guys had gone that low. Ever heard the stories about foreign mafias getting destroyed by that stuff? I'll thank you not to compare us to small fry like Crossbell's Rafach. We stand head and shoulders above them. And now we're gonna stand head, shoulders, and feet above you! <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that spunk from earlier go? We're gonna enjoy this! Ben! Got that out of your system? You're done, Spriggan! Don't you dare! <laughs> the hell? Fine then! You can die too! Could do a shard shield. Nah, no time. Damn it! Don't die over a piece of shit like me! What's going on? There's a light coming from my great-grandfather's... Oh boy, you sure are in a sorry mess. What? How is this? The hollow from your Zypha. Well, Van, the choice is yours. Will you bear the nightmare, or not? <gasps> what are you... Since when can hollows appear like this? World's full of mysteries. Are you asking me that question of your own free will? Huh? Of course I am. Just so we're clear, I could not care less how much trouble you're in. I'm just here to know one thing. Will you bear the nightmare, or not? Van... <laughs> Man, today's just one thing after another, huh? My life's been a living nightmare for more than a decade now. So what's a little more fire when you're already in the depths? Alright, let's do it! What the? Bosses any day of the week. You're damn right. We're taking you down in the name of Almada. <laughs> this is unbelievable. What is he? Are you all right? How do you feel? 
feel? I'm fine. Tired as all hell, but I don't feel any pain. Can't believe I just took down a pair of drugged-up mafiosos like they were snot-nosed kids. What a monster. What was that? You saw Mare too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just tell me what you want. <laughs> Figures. All she spits out is what she's programmed. She's got no sentience. The tech hasn't come far enough to give her any. But... Was it the Genesis, then? Well, can't imagine it was a fluke. So that thing's called a Genesis? Yes, or that's what my great-grandfather called it in his diaries. It's supposed to be one of eight, called collectively the Oct Genesis. <sighs> you saying there's eight of these? I'm gonna guess it was behind everything that happened here. Behind Mare showing up, behind me turning into that weird monster, behind spirits popping up down here too. Then we're of the same mind. The diaries describe them as for experimental observation and nothing more. Of course they elected to omit the finer details. You know, when I accepted this job, I didn't think it'd be from a relative of the one and only Professor Epstein. Huh? Dead on, huh? That thing was made half a century ago, around the time of the Orbal Revolution. It's easy to tell by looking at it just how much precision and skill went into making it. Then you got that it's an orbment capable of doing artifact level stuff. Even Epstein's three disciples couldn't have made something so advanced back then. Knock them out of the running, and you're left with the father of modern tech, Claude Epstein. <laughs> I'm sorry for hiding it from you. I'll tell you everything there is to say. It all started when... Not now. Put it away. Quick. Van! Are you alright? Uh, oh. I see. We were a few minutes too late. Those two are... They're from Amada. We finally caught them. Get lost. This is our territory. Who do you think you're talking to? This isn't a job for civilians. Just what happened here? I can see that you fought them, but beyond that... We fought, yeah. With how pumped full of drugs they were, it was a miracle we could make it out with our skin intact. Uh-oh. <laughs> as curious as I am about how you emerged victorious, I trust you were able to help your client? <laughs> no comment. That's between me and her. Now, I know I owe both sides here a debt, but consider them paid. They might be at the bottom of the chain, but they're still in Almada. You can have one each. Excuse me? But who gave you the authority to- I suppose we do owe him for neutralizing them. Very well. We shall take them in between us. Maybe if you're lucky enough? They'll even talk. Now come on, let's get out of here. Oh, um, sure. But let me help you walk. I'm good, I'm good. This is clearly only the beginning of something much greater. Sharpen your skills while you can, Van. Will do, Renee. Kincaid. I can't let him keep living like this. Why must you insist on shouldering all of the burden yourself? 